we are going to get wedding dresses because we're, I'm getting married. Let's go talk about birds and bees. <laughs> Every time that I go on a hike with someone or just in general that I want to go hiking more often, I want to get to a place where Johnny and I can get up in the morning and go hiking or we can get the kids and go hiking because there are so many beautiful hiking places here. And every time I find someplace new, learn someplace new, it's so breathtaking to see the beauty that's all around us. Every time I go on a new hike, I send Johnny the pin. So one day, one day we're gonna get out and do these hikes together. So yesterday was Sydney's birthday. And because we got here late, we weren't able to do much. So we decided to just make today her second birthday. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to the mall right now. We're gonna get some food because I'm starving. Yes, we said starving. Um, we're gonna hang out until probably around like 3.30. That's when we scheduled our appointment. We should probably figure out how far away that nail place is from here. But anyway. We're gonna go get our nails done and yeah. It is the end of the semester and the kids worked really, really hard yesterday to make sure they had all of their schoolwork done. So today we are going to party and organize, clean and organize. <laughs> I'm doing little parties. We're having a little hot tub party and then we're going to de-junk the toy room. Panda! 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 <laughs> he just barely got out of the spa place. And number one, I hate getting pedicures. Sydney's like, then why did you get one? Her nails are like dragon scales. They look like dragon scales! And she's like, why did you get that? And I was like, first off, because I don't have any nails. And second off, because my feet really needed it. I could have done it. <laughs> but still. It was so good. Oh, I, look, I'm the same way. That's why I don't. That's why I also don't like getting pedicures. Because my feet are so ticklish. I'm like, what? I just don't like my feet being touched. So as soon as someone touches them, I automatically just pull away. <laughs> okay, wait, Danielle, are you uh, alone? No. Oh, okay. You said you said I, or did you say we? I said we. We are going to get wedding dresses because we're, I'm getting married soon because my boyfriend's about to propose to me, apparently. That's <laughs> the situation. Wow. <laughs> what boyfriend? Great question. I was wondering that too. <laughs> we instead are getting married. We're moving to Alabama. So, um, six o'clock is fine, I think. Six o'clock is fine? Well, it gets dark, so do you want to drive around in the dark? No, I don't want to drive around in the dark. Well, I need to talk to you about something about uh, just our family, just family stuff. So, uh, call me back in a minute. Of just it's about Gigo. Okay. But you gotta call me without. It's just just you. Okay. Okay, love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Okay. We're trying to get her away from Sydney. Sydney was right there, dude. Listening to the whole thing. Hold on, I'll use this as a mirror for me. Forgot to shave this morning. <laughs> I forgot to shave this morning. So let's go shave We're right now. We're trying to get Sydney out here. Let's shave right now. that away from stuff so we can have the party for her. But, but she's sitting right next to Danielle and we're trying to tell secrets and Danielle's not getting it, yeah, so I had to lie to her. I had to lie. Dude, we're getting good at this lying stuff. Right. Johnny and I have been lying together for years. Yeah. Johnny was lying and I just went home. Yeah, uh -huh. I think it's the other way around. You good? Yeah. Are you alone? Yeah. Okay. I had to lie there for a minute. I'm sure you've understood that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. What, what, what's up? All right, so we've got to get you to bring Sydney out straight out in the garage. Just get her straight out there and then uh, Jordan will get everybody that's in the house to sneak out. They'll be outside the garage door, standing there okay. waiting. And then when she goes out of the garage, out in the driveway, they'll yell surprise. Just send a text when you're leaving Spanish on your way here. Okay, will do. Okay, thank you. It's going down. So we got Starbucks and my dad wants me home at 5.30, but we don't want to go home until like exactly when we need to. <laughs> um, we're not procrastinating. No, definitely not, not at all. No, so uh, what do we do when we need to be home in about an hour and 15 minutes? You go to a bridal shop. 
Okay, let's go tell people that I'm getting married. Savannah decided that she wanted to go to Olive Garden tonight. Tonight is a very special night. So the reason why it's such a special night for Savannah is Savannah has been curious about things about her body and things that she has heard other people say and talk about. Kids are curi curious like that. That's a very good cue to parents that they are ready to learn more, ready to learn the adult things, all of those kind of things. So we're gonna go have a nice dinner and talk about all of those things. So Savannah will no longer be just a cute little 13 year old that doesn't know all the things. It's exciting as a parent to be able to talk to these things with your child. And also it's exciting because Savannah didn't have to hear things from kids at school or from the internet. She looked up some things on YouTube, luckily not the internet because that can lead you down a very dark rabbit hole. Sometimes kids hear things from other kids at school and it's the wrong information. And so it's awesome that I have the opportunity to take Savannah and give her the right information for all the things that she's questioning about. Are you excited? I'm never excited. <laughs> Why are you nervous excited? Because I, like Allie and Danielle were like, this is the worst talk. <laughs> birds and the bees. Yep. Let's go talk about birds and bees. We're starting our pre-talk in the car since we still have a little bit to wait. Still have a little bit to wait. What do you remember about the period talk? Um, I remember that it was like you told me that your body is changing and it's getting ready for when you are older and you can have kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you never have a period, you won't ever be able to have a baby either. Okay, so just as a quick refresher, when your body starts changing, you grow hair and you sweat different, differently and you start getting BO and so you need to keep yourself extra clean and wear deodorant every day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to put deodorant on twice a day or yeah. even three times a day if you're doing a lot of physical exercise or a lot of physical. Yeah. You don't want funky smells and you also don't want infections. Okay, Danielle should yeah, be here any minute. She should be walking through that door somewhere. It didn't smoke bad, we just had fun with the truck, getting it ready and everything, but now we've got a stage, the reason why we have the camera. So as soon as they walk through that door, we're gonna hit the starter again, and this is gonna be the reason we have the camera. All we're just trying to do is light a city right now. 16th birthday party, here we go. Oh, okay, here we go, get ready. You ready, let's try it. Okay, you ready? Oh, hold on a second. We're starting the car. Hey, hold on. For the first time. Here we go. Come get a picture. Yeah, stop. Wait, Corbin, wait. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby. Give us some gas. Yes. What are you guys called? What is going on here? Um, I'm getting married. Why? But we couldn't look at dresses, so. Why? I just went. Okay, we went to Starbucks and he proposed. Starbucks and where else? And. You didn't get into trouble or find any boys. We need to talk, but we can talk later. But let's try this. Here we go. Come on, baby. Keep going. Give it a little gas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk later, Danielle. We got things to do here. Do you know what you're going to eat? No, I've never seen the adults menu. Whoa. I've seen it before, but I've never eaten off of Ordered it. Ordered off of it? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what I like right there. Oh, that's exactly what I like to eat. That's what you like to eat? Yeah. Yay, we're twinners and we're all ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One thing that is so important to remember is you cannot love anyone else unless you love yourself. Mm -hmm. And you have to love who you really are, not just for like what you look like and that stuff, or else you really can't love anyone else. Yeah, so true. And when you're insecure and searching for someone just to love you, people can see that and they can take advantage of that as well. So when we first decided to have a talk with Savannah, Johnny and I invited her to write down any questions that she had. And so she brought a list with her. We've talked about all of her questions. We've talked about the birds and the bees. We've talked about babies and having babies and after having babies. And how do you feel? Well, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> 
I think Allie and Danielle scared her a little bit. And for you that are watching, if any of these questions, if any of these things that I've said or Savannah has said bring questions to your mind, please go and talk to a trusted adult. Because they have all the answers. Yeah, ask them about it. Don't try and search them on the internet. Don't go ask your friends at school. Ask someone that you can trust that will give you the right information. Because it's, that is the best thing to do, is to get the right information. <laughs> Are you are you surprised? Yes. <laughs> yes. That's why we've been taking you out of this. <laughs> We are both so full, and we're gonna get some dessert anyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get chocolate brownie lasagna. That sounds amazing. That looks so yummy. Look at that lasagna brownie. Okay, I don't know why, but I just had the urge to go. Do it. I'm not really going to. I'm gonna go there. Do it. No, do it. Put your whole face in. No, you're gonna smash my face in. I'm not. Look, I have the camera right over here. Take a bite. <laughs> How is it? It was so fun tonight to go have a date with Savannah, go out and just get to sit and talk with her. Get to see what she was excited about, what she was nervous about, and just what thoughts and feelings she had. And also to give her that time to feel special and important and to feel that she was one of the big girls. And, um, Sometimes it can be hard in a family of seven kids to feel like you get enough one-on-one -on -one time. And every time I do these kind of dates, it always makes me want to make it a priority to do the special one-on-one -on -one time. And I think Johnny and I will start that again, where we take the extra time to take each of our kids out to do something fun. Just to, just a parent and a child, or two parents and a child. And it really means a lot to them and means a lot to the parent as well it means a lot to me and um and she was very mature and she took the talk in stride and she was very nervous about it but she didn't get grossed out or anything and she just afterwards the nervousness just melted away and she saw that it was a okay thing to talk about and after that, she just talked, 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 talked. It was so fun. So if you're watching and you're a parent, take that time to connect with your child or children. It's so important. And I think this was just as much for me as it was for her. And I love it. And I love you. And I want you always to remember that you are worth it. Bye, guys.